We are now in the Hyundai Kona 64 kilowatt hour. Now this car is um, a little bit different than the other cars I tried before because you know normally I try a branch banking new car, but this one was delivered on the well it was registered on the sixth of June two thousand and uh, no wait it was delivered sorry it was delivered on the 29th of June uh, last year so it's uh, it's about uh, how many months now some seven months old and uh, it also has uh, one uh, 14,000 kilometers on the odometer so I'm thinking we should try a degradation test and also at the same time do um, a high-speed test and the typical range test so yeah, but uh, I'm charging right now and it's going slow as expected. I hammered it to get here. I drove about 100 kilometers just to get here. I drove fast, 120 plus kilometers per hour, but it's cold outside and it seems like, again, um, the car struggles to charge fast enough in the cold. So it's the so-called cold gate. Yeah, this is something that someone else invented. So we've been charging for uh, 43 minutes and uh, if we look at this display, okay, this is a bit weird. I have a cracked phone and I'm live streaming, but um, uh, okay, sorry, let me try to show you better. Maybe, maybe that's better. Yeah, okay, there you go. So, um, you see, we are charging at only 13 kilowatt, it's supposed to be 20 25 kilowatt at this little charger, and it will take another one hour and 16 minutes. So, um, normally I would sit here and curse to myself uh, while I'm waiting, but um. You know, I have to do the high-speed run anyway. So this time, let's try diff something different. So I will do the high-speed run, right? Which is 120 kilometers per hour. It's it's only it's only 110 kilometers per hour zone here, by the way. So you guys don't keep asking me, hey Bjorn, why don't you drive 140? Well, how about if you donate, um, if you donate um, about. Um, 300 euros or dollars to me then I could do the high-speed test for you yeah how about that because then uh, I will have to be prepared to take the the bill um, the speed ticket okay so the plan is to drive let's let's make it let's make it like try to heat up the battery all right this one is supposed to be uh, 46 kilometers from here right? Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about it, but but we'll we'll do the high speed run now, and then hopefully when we go back here, the battery will be nice and warm. <laughs> yeah, all right. So I will uh, prepare, and then uh, well, okay. I should say say something about these settings. So I will use driver only, but I'm not sure if I can use eco mode because eco mode might restrict the speed to. 220 kilometers per hour we can find out we go here uh, actually yeah EV setting no no, no it wasn't there um, uh, we had to go to setup actually there's one easy way to do it just press the drive mode button change and then you can quickly go into the settings here so what I want to do is go back and then check out she no, vehicle okay whatever we can go with vehicle uh, in eco mode yeah okay maximum speed limit uh -huh, like a ninja right there there okay because I want to use eco mode uh, climb control from eco all right uh, but cruise at 120 kilometers per hour and the rest of the setting put in automatic okay and then I'll press its climate as you can see the settings I use 21 degrees Celsius uh, just leave it automatic and this one has the driver only setting which will only heat up the drivers uh, area here and keep the rest of the car somewhat cold but that works for me so right off we go then all right we are on the move I have to cruise at 124 kilometers per hour and um, I switched from uh, eco mode to the comfort mode again because it's, it felt like the eco mode was saving too much of the heater and I still want that nice comfort yeah but um, we have to sacrifice a little bit of speed here to test check the weight of the car and then we can hammer it all right here we go front axle is 1000 kilo all right and then the total weight of the car one eight 
840. All right, that means the rear axle should be 840. Just double checking here. Eight. Yeah, there we go, 840. All right, good, good, good. Yeah, let's hammer it. Well, it's a nice weather today. So, uh, last summer when I tested the, the 120 kilometers per hour run with Kona, uh, I was averaging 190 watt per kilometer. That was 25 degrees Celsius, dry road, high temperature. Now, the car needs to uh, fight through thicker air. It needs to heat up the cabin more. We have uh, wet roads. So, so far we are averaging 260, but we have slight uh, headwind, so we have to see on the return how it goes. We just turn around and uh, heading back to uh, the fast charger now in Nebenes, and uh, the consumption has uh, stabilized at 260. So uh, now we have slight tailwind, so um, most likely the consumption will drop, but how much? Well, we shall find out soon. Yeah. We are back at the Fortum charger, and the result is 256 watt hour per kilometer. That is way higher than summer, <laughs> 190. All right, let's plug in and uh, start charging. All right, we are juicing up, and um, the speed started at four. Oh shit! Hold on. Uh, sorry for that. Let, let's try this one instead. Okay, it's always a little bit troublesome because I'm also live streaming. But um, you see, the speed started at 40 kilowatt, and now it's slowly ramping up. So uh, it still says two hours left. <laughs> uh, oops. Well, um, that's a life for Tesla Bjorn. Oh shit! It started throttling already. You see, if this was summer, if it wasn't minus 13 degrees Celsius, if it was plus 15 or more, then we would get um, 47, 40, we would get 47, 48 kilowatt right now. I remember this from the race I had against um, uh, my Model X Optimus Prime. Then I would charge to 73% uh, before it started throttling. So I would get full speed, which is 47, 48 kilowatt, all the way to um, for, uh, 73. Now it's doing this shit, uh, it's, it's throttling the speed because the battery is too cold. Yeah, it's not too hot, this car has active cooling, it's just too cold. It, it can't, it doesn't work properly in winter, unfortunately, you see it's very cold outside, it's typical Norwegian winter, you can find this in other places also, like uh, Sweden, uh, Finland, maybe parts of Germany, uh, maybe uh, in uh, Canada. So it's not something unique for Norway. Okay, as for the noise in Kona, uh, well, it's a little bit weird here. We, we, we went back to the future, I mean the Fiat, but uh, Kona is pretty noisy. So you can see here on the table, yeah, it's uh, one of the noisiest ones, uh, very close to Ionic actually. So um, I'm not sure why. Uh, you see that um, uh, the, the Kia e Niro, which has that treatment, that uh, rust treatment or rust protection, had way better uh, noise. So it could be that uh, this corner I tested that didn't have that treatment, and that treatment actually adds a little bit of uh, soundproofing. So, well, okay. But anyway, back to the charging. Okay, it's now 6 in the evening, yeah. I've been charging here for almost two hours. This whole cold gate thing has taken so much time, so I don't want to charge to 100%, it takes too long. So we will just interrupt now and we can always extrapolate the rest. And you see, we are 96%. If this was summer, it would take 45 minutes, not two hours. And you see, we are still at 96, we're not at 100%. That would take another half an hour. So I'm getting very impatient now, yes. So I would just leave at 96, and then we can extrapolate the last 4%. We have been driving for uh, 55 minutes. We are down to 75%. And, uh, oh, hold on. A little bit bad surface here. And um, consumption is somewhat high. Yeah, it's a little bit higher than I expected because during my road trip, um, 
couple of days ago, I had lower consumption, but then it wasn't that cold. So minus 10 degrees Celsius wet road uh, does something with the consumption. So 197 now, yeah, it seems like it will, it will probably drop a little bit more. So I have to guess about 190. Yeah, but we still have to do the whole test because uh, I want to measure the degradation on this uh, this car, which is uh, seven months old, and it's a press car, so it's probably been sitting at 100% for very long, also. So yeah, we'll see. So we have done one fourth of the run. This is way faster than during summer, <laughs> so that's a good thing. Wow, we are now at the turnaround point. Yeah, this is close to Kolmuen, and look at the temperature here. Minus 17 degrees Celsius, wow! <laughs> so, um, yeah, you also have to put this one in uh, consideration when you see the result, because this is, this is cold. It's, it's much harsher uh, driving condition today than we had uh, actually in uh, most of the other tests I've done. Yeah, so when, when we get low result here, that's one of the reasons. Uh, if we try at zero degrees Celsius in a couple of months, we'll get way better numbers. Well, all right, let's finish this anyway. All right, it's getting warmer now, yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was minus 17, now it's minus 15. But look at minus 15. Um, the HVAC is pulling uh, two kilowatts. Yeah, it was 2.2 earlier. Now it's about two kilowatts. So it's still pretty good. Um, this car is fitted with a heat pump. So um, I'm not sure how efficient the heat pump is at minus 15, but um, I remember when I was driving at, um, at around minus five this weekend, then uh, it only consumed uh, 700 watts. So that, that's almost one third of this power. We have been driving for 250 kilometers, and this is a little bit weird because you know, when I did this trip in winter and in summer, I drove 510 kilometers. Now only halfway uh, at 250. I'm already on my way back. So right now we are uh, about 40 kilometers away from uh, uh, IKEA. Yeah, I tend to stop at IKEA because they have four fast charging there. So 40 kilometers left, right? GOM says we have 60 kilometers, and I estimated that, yeah, that sounds plausible. So uh, we will barely make 300 kilometers. And that means we have a 40% drop in range on really cold weather like today, versus a nice hot summer with 25, 28 degrees Celsius. That's a huge difference, yeah. 510 versus um, 300 kilometers. So I was expecting only a 20% drop in winter. Uh, so okay, maybe when, if it was zero degrees Celsius in winter, then maybe it would be a 20% drop then. So if I have an opportunity, I would try, but I wouldn't do the full test like I do now. When, one, one of the main reasons why I charge to almost full and drive it on almost to zero is to measure the degradation in the pack. All right, this is it. The fares from uh, Karlihögen. It's a long uphill. I have 11%. Uh, it should be okay. I'm expecting to lose. Oh, 10% now. Ooh. Uh, I could get turtle mode at 5%. And then, but... I'm expecting to spend about 2% going uphill here, so um, yeah, we should be safe. <laughs> okay, so far 283 kilometers, yeah. Alright, we are back now at IKEA, juicing up, and if you look at the screenshot here, you see that we drove almost uh, 300 kilometers. I didn't feel like driving further than this. Now we arrived with 7% and we started with 96, so we have to take that in account, that we only spent 89%, uh, but uh, close enough. So uh, based on these numbers, I estimate that on a really cold day like today, I would say that the average average temperature was around minus 13. The range is 330 kilometers, which is not too bad. It's actually slightly better than uh, 
e-tron <laughs> and but e the e-tron test had higher temperature so i bet if we try the e-tron today it will probably not even go 300 kilometers just my wild guess all right and what about uh, the available energy okay based on these numbers uh, the available energy seems to be about 64 kilowatt hours uh, it seems like uh, Hyundai and uh, and Kia they they knew about this initial drop so they probably designed it to have 65 but they know that maybe maybe during the first half uh, year it will drop about one kilowatt hour so that's why they they branded at 64 kilowatt hours and I was able to get 64 now but we don't know if maybe this has something to do with extreme cold so maybe if I tried this exact same car I try to measure it let's say uh, next week when it's only zero degrees Celsius maybe I can get 65 kilowatt hours out of it I have no idea but um, again you know this car has done 14,000 uh, kilometers and it's over six months old and it's because it's a press car it has probably stayed on 100% for a long time um, yeah and 100% here is probably around 95% real state of charge so yes i think uh that's it for now so um yes i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later